F.L. Smith is the world's only total equipment supplier to the cement and minerals industries with a portfolio that covers the entire flow sheet and more than 10,000 employees and representation in more than 40 countries. F.L. Smith has more than 35 years of experience in supplying automated laboratories based on the QCX suite of solutions installed at more than 600 systems worldwide since 1971. QCX Robolab is F.L. Smith's solution for using flexible robot technology to prepare ore and process samples for analysis. The QCX Robolab system, installed north of the Arctic Circle in Rovaniemi, Finland, is an example of such a tailor-made system. Here, F.L. Schmidt has commissioned a fully automated sample preparation laboratory, which is a demonstration of F.L. Schmidt's commitment to creativity, reliability and excellence. Drill core samples are taken in both existing mines and in green fields for prospecting. Once the samples are out of the ground, they are collected for analysis. As accurate sample preparation and analysis is essential for mine prospecting and minerals process optimization, commercial laboratories such as Labtium performs this task for many of the mines in the area. Labtium receives drill core samples and exploration chips for fire assay analysis primarily from gold mines. It is essential that Labtium can guarantee its clients a correct analysis. In order to guarantee this, Labtium has chosen to automate the hard and labor-intensive work of reducing drill cores and exploration samples from 15 kilogram specimens to representative samples of a few grams for analysis. This automation is made in order to improve analysis quality and ensure a high and steady sample throughput. The QCX Robolab at Labtium consists of three robots operating semi-automated equipment in a coarse preparation cell, a pulverizing cell and a dosing cell. The laboratory handles various different sample types such as drill core and percussion samples. Each sample type has its own specific sample preparation recipe. Such a recipe can be changed by the operator to accommodate for future needs. During the sample login, the QCX software links the desired sample recipe to a sample. The specific recipe determines the sample's way through the automated laboratory, as well as the specific preparation parameters such as grinding time, amount of backup sample, etc. When the samples arrive at the laboratory, the barcode is scanned and thereby the sample is logged into the QCX system. The first step of preparation is drying and the sample is paired with and placed in a drying tray. The sample trays are mounted in a tray rack and in this laboratory the samples are inserted manually into a drying oven. After drying, the operator inserts the racks with the dry samples into the automatic tray in feed and from there the samples are handled automatically. The tray in feed is designed to handle four racks each with 48 samples without human intervention. A QCX Robolab operates 24-7. It offers accurate, stable and reliable sample preparation. The first cell is the coarse preparation cell. Here the samples are again weighed and original moisture content is registered. Then the sample is crushed in one of the three large jaw crushers. The crusher output weight is used by the QCX software to determine possible sample blockings. One of two rotary sample splitters divide the sample into one portion for further processing in the pulverizing cell and one archive portion that goes to the bagger and the rest to reject. In order to avoid cross-contamination, both crushers and splitters are cleaned after each sample. The archive sample is bagged in a forming, filling and sealing machine. Cross-contamination is avoided as the sample feeding tunnel is flushed after each sample. The archive sample is barcode labeled 
for easy identification before leaving the cell. Sample containers do not leave the cell and they are cleaned automatically. From the splitter in the course preparation cell, a sample portion is discharged directly into a grinding bowl in the pulverizing cell. Here it is pulverized in one of the six large capacity mills. After pulverizing, the sample portion is split into a portion for further processing and a reject portion. The QCX programming structure allows for one of the mills to be out for service while the system makes optimum use of the remaining equipment. In a thorough process, the grinding bowl and puck are individually cleaned with high-pressure glass bead blasting in order to avoid sample-to-sample -sample contamination. The QCX software tracks the grinding bowl wear for maintenance purposes. The sample portion coming from the pulverizing cell is split into a large cup in the sample dosing cell. The dosing cell consists of one sample dosing unit and one fire assay doser. First, the sample goes to the sample dosing unit, where it is dosed into several subsamples. One for further processing in the fire assay doser. One or more as duplicate or triplicate sample. One which leaves the sample dosing cell in a capped vial with barcode. This subsample is used for additional analyses and archive. The dosing unit is highly flexible. It can produce up to four individually weighed outputs of either cups or vials or a combination of both. In the fire assay doser, sample, aliquots and fluxes are dosed in an enclosed environment in order to get optimal, constant and stable sample mixes ready in the ceramic crucibles for fire assay. The lead dust from the flux is extracted in the machine. By automating this step in the sample preparation process, human exposure to lead dust is minimized and what is a large health issue in most assay labs is addressed. Once the samples leave the fire assay doser, it is assayed and finally analyzed with ICP. The buffer rack in the dosing cell functions as a storage rack for QA and QC samples. The event-based operation of the QCX software ensures a greater degree of flexibility and a high capacity. If one piece of equipment is out for service, the software will automatically choose an alternative route for the samples. The software will allocate a sample to the next available machine and thereby increase total sample throughput. Because all sample handling and machine control is done by the QCX software, it is easy to change or add new sample recipes, new pieces of equipment, etc. The overall QCX QAQC software controls which samples shall be duplicated or triplicated based on the sample recipe and overall QAQC scheme. The server room is the heart of the QCX Robo Lab. Here, three PC servers ensure that the system is in full operation at all times. Even though the QCX RoboLab operates as one system, each cell is in fact controlled by its individual server PC. This software layout ensures greater flexibility and high efficiency during commissioning, as one cell can be commissioned independently of the other cells. From the engineering station, the maintenance engineer can supervise the system. And if he should get in need of assistance, he can call one of FL Smith's local offices or its regional technology centers in Denmark, India and the USA and allow them to log on to the system and assist him online. This secure and advanced remote support solution is very valuable as an additional security when the system is new and when 24-7 operation is crucial. This fast, reliable, accurate QCX RoboLab is one example of what FL Smith Automation has to offer. Not very many automated laboratories are alike. There can be local preferences for preparation procedures, make of equipment, 
and we often see plant-specific QA, QC sample philosophies. Therefore, it is important to look for a supplier with a strong software platform and experience in integrating and adapting new equipment and philosophies into a tailor-made automated solution. With our worldwide team of software engineers, FL Smith has a system that is unique when it comes to solution flexibility, operational availability and experience. When it comes to trust, choose FL Smith. Thank <laughs> you.